Hey there, Angie M of the Life by Angie M. I just wanted to do a quick pop on really because, because of a couple of things. I am just trying to get some organization going with pens and I realize I have a massive problem. I also have a massive problem with notebooks. It's a thing and if you see the ring on this finger, I did get this from James Michelle. You can find them online. They do some absolutely beautiful handcrafted work. They have more affordable options and then they have some high-end gemstone -y options in there too. They have a ring that I think is going to go on an anniversary slash birthday slash Christmas list that's just to die for. But I got this. This is their wide stackable ring. They have a slim one and I'm wearing a heart necklace. You'll, you'll see in other videos. I have been looking for pieces of jewelry that are simple and daily wear. The jewelry I have and the jewelry that my husband has given me is very, very dress up going out somewhere, very fancy. And I just, I'm at home and I never leave the house and may never leave the house again at this rate. And I have a two year old, so I've been hesitant to wear it. And I know my husband thinks that I hate everything he buys me because I don't wear a lot of the stuff. He buys me beautiful pieces that I'm afraid of damaging. I have one ring that has been replaced twice now because I lose stones from it. And I realized I did that off screen like twice now. But uh, I just, I wanted something that wasn't going to get in the way. I also, so my engagement ring and my wedding band, my wedding band is very simple. It's a white gold that is, it needs to be replated and my engagement ring is platinum. They get in the way and I scratch my daughter all the time so I don't wear them unless I'm going out somewhere. So like in the house, I generally don't put them on. I also would take them off at night or take them off to get in the shower because my hair would get caught. So that's that's why there's no line. They exist, I do, I do wear them. I just, not in the house, so you don't see them a lot of times when I'm filming because I've taken them off. So I got that and I noticed that this ring and the heart necklace I got, so my dad gave me a heart necklace for my 14th birthday and that was two weeks before he passed away. It's very special to me. And the heart that I, that I purchased, I think is very reminiscent of that. And I only realized it after I got it. Also, the way the heart is hammered is similar to, to this ring itself. And I realized that this, I have a pink and silver shawl ring that I got at Indiana Beach as a souvenir on a beach trip with my dad. And the hammering is very reminiscent of that. So when I purchased this, I must have been thinking about my dad without even realizing it. His birthday is coming up at the end of this month. It's a thing. James Michelle, their stuff is gorgeous. This box, I don't know if you can see it clearly. It has this... I keep wanting to call it a palm frond, but I don't know that that's what it is. I think it is. Their aesthetic is extremely beachy. They are out of Oregon. I, I love the beach. I love the water. I love everything about their aesthetic. The background actually on my phone right now, I saved a picture from their Instagram that they had had up. And I just, I love everything about their aesthetic is what I'm trying to say. So I keep, I keep the boxes for my jewelry to store them. So that's why I still have that. But just, again, something I picked up that was kind of epic. I was also, I have been watching a lot of YouTubers and really interested in the Traveler's Journal notebooks. Not for planning, but more for dream journaling, journaling in general in my creative process. I have a, a leather journal that I got from Barnes & Noble that I started writing in when I was pregnant with my daughter. But I don't know, there's just something about it that I've gravitated gravitated away from it. I love moleskins and I actually have, I have a big shelf and a half on, well, used to be on my bookshelf that are just moleskins from my creative planning. And I like moleskins. I usually wouldn't finish them. I have uh, I'll show you this in a second because I wanted to talk about this specifically. I have a thing about when I get to start getting towards the end and have like a quarter left on a moleskin where I want to jump into a new one rather than finishing the moleskin. I think that's just part of my, I think it's part of my process at this point because it happens so consistently. I also find 
that when there are major shifts in my creative process, I have a tendency to want to jump into a new moleskin as well. And I think what it is, is in my brain, each moleskin represents something specific for the time I was using it, whether it was certain creative ideas, certain content ideas I was doing, things like that. And I was watching and Galen Leather out of Turkey has a fabulous you know, Traveler's Journal cover. And I was looking at that because I've been watching and seeing all of these Traveler's Journal videos. And I thought it was interesting to have separate notebooks, but I was like, I already have separate notebooks like that that just aren't in the Traveler's Notebook system. I don't use them. I don't like short notebooks. Again, because it ha I have a tendency to notebook hop. So <laughs> I was watching some more things and I happened upon a YouTuber I'm totally blanking on her name right now. So bear with me, I'm gonna just grab it here. All right, so Seaweed Kisses on YouTube. I caught some of her videos and she was talking about her moleskin journal that she uses for more of her creative. A lot of people who want to use moleskin for creative kind of, you know, poo poo the, the thinness of the pages. You get ghosting, you get bleed through depending on the pen you're using. You're not really going to do much watercolor. There are notebooks like Moleskin that are geared towards that with thicker papers, thicker GSM. So she was showing her soft cover Moleskin. I per personally like hard cover. I don't bend the cover back. I like it to lay flat open. And she was talking about how she uses it for her journaling and for memory keeping. And I thought that was really cool. Well, she goes, I can keep a year in here. And I'm like, how, honey, how are you keeping a year? And I'm looking like the, the, it was thick. Moleskin, <laughs> that video was from about a year ago. So something I have never seen on the Moleskin website, which I stalk like a legit stalker, is that they have these expanded editions with 400 pages. They are bigger notebooks. So same size, same cover, more pages. And I was like, mm, 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 I see you there. I see you there. Check my Barnes and Noble. Sure enough, they had it. So I picked it up. And let me tell you, I am already in love with this thing. I am just like instantly like, yes, small skin. Thank you. Because it is like... If I can figure out and maybe stop journal hopping with these guys, maybe it will last me a year. Maybe less, depends on how much stuff I'm gonna put in it. So I'm gonna take the band off, just gonna do a quick flip through. I can tell you already that this band, I'm likely going to have to purchase a separate band to, to go around and hold her together. But uh, so here it is, here's what she looks like so far. I have, this is from Simply Gilded. This is just a sticker I got from Michael's. It would not be my planner if I didn't have a pink flamingo somewhere in there. And a quote of mine for years. I used to dream of being saved. I don't have that dream anymore. I saved myself. Super important. No, no one else can save you. You have to take care of you. And I was, it was very early in doing some creative writing like 10 years ago or so when I came up with this and put it in a moleskin journal. So super important to me. I also printed this on a vellum and put it as the first page in my planner. I have a I have it on a white page as well that I'm going to be putting in a different planner. Just it's it's me. It's it's important. It it means something to me to be able to say that because I don't believe in looking outside of myself to fix things about myself. It just doesn't work that way, right? No one's gonna come along and like smack you on the head and fix you. Maybe they'll give you a little guidance, maybe they'll give you a hand, but you gotta do the work. All right, so Shine Sticker Studio, <laughs> I just have one of my little flags. I love these, I, I'm probably going to order more. I absolutely just, I love that. And then this is from Gigi's Planner Co. I got this when I ordered, ordered the pocket planner from her. She sent this as a little freebie, soups cute. And then I've got 
cloth and paper. You're gonna see cloth and paper all over this right now because I had no idea what to do with these journal cards. These are not something that I would just keep randomly in my planner or in the pockets of my planner. I would get quite annoyed with it. It just, it's not the kind of deco to me that goes in my planner. So I had no idea what to do. I was accumulating them in just a, a pack from the Pensperations that I had. And as soon as I got this, I was like, I know where this is going. And this is one of my favorites. It is meant to be cuppeth overfloweth. And it says, my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you. That last, I get choked up every time I read that at that last part. Because here's the thing, so many of us are wandering through our lives every day for, for forgetting that there are people out there who love us, right? I have people that I am friends with on places like Facebook or Instagram that I don't know in real life, right? I've never met IRL. But if they needed something, if they were hurting, right? We all have those people. We would we would hurt with them. I, a few years ago, lost lost someone that was incredibly special to me that I never met IRL. She was so supportive of things I was doing. Again, like I said, I'm gonna get choked up. That I was doing at that point in my life and just just there for me in a way that I think few people have ever been. She was just one of those warm caring souls and I think about her her husband still has her Facebook page up and everything <laughs> and then I'll just I'll you know I'll comment but yeah so this this to me just reminds me of all of the goodness that others may hope for ourselves and just serves as a little reminder that we need to hope have some hope for ourselves too gonna move on to something <laughs> <laughs> much shinier. This is a pocket from Shine Sticker Studio. I really liked it. I have a different one in my pocket size, but I wanted to put it somewhere and I just thought it would be fabulous to put in here for anything that I wanted to slide in that was small. This is, I got this with a perfume sample that I got from Sephora from 100 Points Perk. I absolutely love all of the colors in it. They are bright, they are vibrant, they are warm. And just, you know, absolutely, absolutely stunning and beautiful. And as I look at this, I'm realizing that I have my four favorite Tombow colors, which aren't reflected in here except for maybe, maybe this shade here, but I probably need a good lime green and an orange. Probably. I should probably reference this. I have a blue that I think is similar to this, only lighter, but I'm realizing that in terms of colors, I don't really have the bright snappy orange or the bright snappy lime green. Just something for future thought. <laughs> Things I don't need but want, right? And then I have some more cloth and paper journaling cards. The future is always beginning now and the distance between dreams and reality is called action. Which so true and I felt like these went really nicely together so I wanted to get them in there and since I'm using this for not just ideas, but journaling and memory keeping. The reason these are all up front is because these are things I already had on hand. And then heavy is the head that wears the crown. I left some space around that for some creative. Normality is a paved road. It is comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow. I don't know that this one really resonates with me a whole lot, but I left some space around it. Maybe we can work on that. And then I just have, these are, the cards that would come with cloth and paper orders. This is this is possibly one of my favorites. I absolutely love how the Tombos look here. And then I'm just thinking, do I have these colors? N95. Do I have an N95? Bingo! I don't think I have N95. I don't have all of them written down. So I was just taking a, a, a quick look. I don't believe I actually have any of any of those colors. Oh man, I just totally, I just totally messed up my Tombos in here. I am extremely OCD about how my stuff is stored and if they are not leaning properly in the container that I have for them, it just, 
it messes with my brain. And then I have, again, this is page flags. I have the cashmere. I thought I would like them more than I do. They're okay, but they're not, they're not my favorites. I was actually, I was actually writing out, you know, my preferences for things so that I don't just buy things needlessly so that I can remind myself, hey, there's stuff you already like. I have the espresso, not a favorite. It's very dark, very cool tone. Lime Fresca, same thing. Like it's just, it's not bright enough for me. My, my aesthetic tends to either lean warm tone or, or bright because cool tones, even if they're bright, can, can be aesthetically pleasing to my eye. I've got a Love Rewards the Brave. I got this with an order from Danielle Laporte. I was trying to use my, my Tombow. Oh, did I not write that? I did not write down that favorite Tombow because I have it in the back instead of in the front. So one of my favorite Tombows is Asparagus, which is this color. I love this shade. And then I used my Caco, my Caco Green to just do, do this. So this was from the James Michelle. I was, again, I was trying to get the leaf. I don't have my art pencils up at my desk. I haven't been drawing or doodling in a while. And after the basement flood issue, they have been, they, they're packed away until I have some better storage. So that is there. And then I had already put this down, so I can't show you. It's, it's a nice card from, from James Michelle and it's jamesmichelle.com. And there's a woman, I don't know if it's one of the owners or if it's just a model who's, who's on the, who's on the front modeling some of the jewelry, but I absolutely loved the heart in the circle. So I wanted to put this in here. And then the last page that I have filled in already is one of my vintage Lisa Frank stickers. You know, I'm gonna end up using those up, but I save those for special things. I absolutely love it. Again, bright colors. So I threw that in there. And then in the back here, I just have some larger pockets that I wasn't sure what to do with. They fit inside of my half letter, but again, I just, I stuff like this in my half letter, in my, in my planner isn't really my thing but I realized that they would be nice in here to change it up because I'm almost out of my washi tape, which means I'm gonna be down to my floral that isn't as is, is well loved and the black background of the leopard, which I like, but I really, really like this washi tape. I just, I can't get it as a standalone. So I'm sad, Simply, Simply Gilded, if you see this, make this washi tape a standalone, please, so I can purchase just that instead of the black background and the white background. But I threw these in here because I figured I, if I was gonna use them anywhere, it's probably gonna be in here. And then I'm going to throw some dots and post-its in there. I want to use up the last of my nude dots. I'm just gonna leave those on my desk for right now. And then mink drops, so in terms of preferences for cloth and paper drops and dots mink and ibiza i think are going to be my two favorites i like dirty chai as well dirty chai is a little bit brighter of a color but something about the mink to my eye just makes sense and then i have my dirty chai sticky notes mostly because i have already used a good number and it's thinning out you can also see some tombos that i was playing with so the peachy is opal. The pinky one is flesh, which I wouldn't have known. I wanted flesh until I realized that I had purchased it, probably because I thought it was a different color. It looks different online, but it is way more pink than I like. And then this guy here is light ochre, which goes actually really well with the cloth and paper French 75 transparent flags. I really like this. Yes, it's cooler in tone, but there is something about that color that is just amazing. I also have their dark ochre, but that is a much greener shade. So in terms of Tombows, I have the 910 in Opal, which is this peachy shade here. The 942, which is called Cappuccino now, but used to be called Tan. I actually got 942 originally, not realizing that it wasn't tan. And then when I was on the Michaels site, I wanted the tan color and got it. I realized I had two, which isn't a bad thing because I really like that color. And then the 991, which is the light ochre. And then for my 
much darker shade. The 947 Burnt Sienna is just, it's its beautiful. I thought I was gonna like the saddle color, but it's too cool toned. So I have my four primaries that I absolutely love. I have a couple of deeper shades that I like. I have their Coral Tombow's Coral shade and that Asparagus shade, which are absolutely fantastic if I want a splash of color. I also have a lilac shade and a blue shade. The blue is super pretty and super bright, but I think I will probably use those far less than I'm, I'm gonna use the other two. And then, so for stickies, so this is the mauve. I have the nude and I thought I was gonna like the nude, but it's almost too light. I like the saddle sticky notes. Aesthetically, that just kind of matches with all of the colors that I am using. And then in terms of their paint, their transparent page flags. They have page flags that aren't transparent as well, but I prefer the transparent page flags. Nude, Bellini, and French 75 are hands down my favorites. So those you're definitely gonna see more of sprinkled through all of my planning stuff, but I just wanted to show you this guy. And I can, I can tell that if I keep putting cards and other things in there, it's gonna need another, it's, it's gonna need like a rubber band or something around it. And I just, I really love it because I'll be able to put 2020 on the spine and good to go. I do not like, I don't like the lines unless I'm using it dedicated for writing ideas. And I've segued away from that in terms of how I do my creative. I looked at the dots, but realistically my heart belongs to just the blank pages and you can get the blank pages in hardcover, I got this from Barnes and Noble or in soft cover. So soft cover, if you prefer a cover that is more malleable, the hardcover is not super hard. It will, it will bend to this, but if you want to be able to pull your cover back behind, you're gonna want a soft cover. So that is, that is that. I am going to, I am going to just kind of move along at this point. I have a couple other things to get done before I go pick up the kiddo. I'm just going to drop these into the back pocket here. That way I have them. Slide those in the back. Get my little closure going. I like that on there right now because if there's something that's sticking up like that, that James Michelle post, I'm just going to call it a postcard, James Michelle postcard, then this can kind of compress it. So hopefully the cover will flatten it out a little bit and pull it in. Otherwise, there she is. And you will see more of this guy, I am sure, in Planner Plays. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will catch you on the next one. As always, much love.